Hello everybody, Marina again, back for another video. As I said yesterday, um, you might as well get used to this setting because um, whenever I work, I'm going to try on my break time to come with the review of certain books I've read in the past. And today I wanted to review a collection of short stories that I read last year, but I didn't take the time out to come, out, uh, to come and talk to you about. And that collection is this one, A Coming of the Dry Season by Charles Mongoshi. Uh, for those of you who, who follow me, who've been following me for the longest time, you might remember in one of my um, book haul, I talked about this one. And I was surprised to see how small this one was, though it contains 10 short stories. And the reason why I'm reviewing it because, is because I really, really loved it when I read it. I was happily surprised by uh, the density of the messages in there and how he... He succeeded into sharing many um, opinion in such a short um, amount of pages. Like within two pages, he told you an entire a complete story with uh, uh, well-built characters, with a very clear setting, with an atmosphere that was really, really well defined. You have to know that the stories were all set during Rhodesia, the now uh, Zimbabwe. But back in the days, he wrote this. It was Rhodesia, so we were in the time of um, colonialism. The British people were still ruling all over the country. So there was a kind of, uh, not a kind of, there were racism in the country. And black people, the natives, were still inferior to uh, the white ones. OK, white people were the masters, were the leaders of the country and black people had to conform. And in most of these stories, you will also face the dichotomy of uh, one's identity, because there are many native people who have a hard time dealing with the tradition because they try to keep their traditions alive. But then again, to survive in this, the, the, the country, they have to conform to the rules of uh, the colonizer. There are many different short stories in there. One of them is The Coming of a Dry Season. Okay, I'm not going to go in deep with all the, the short stories just because they are very short. And if I start talking about them in deep, I might just give away everything that is said there. What I would like to, to, to tell you, though, regarding the coming of the uh, the dry season which is the hate story in this collection is that it deals with the dryness of emotion the dryness of feeling as well as the dryness of the pocket okay uh, in this story we see, we it, it tried to tell us how heavy it is to be the eldest in the family because in african traditions the the firstborn is the often the one who takes care of the family, who takes care of everybody, no matter what, what that, that is what is expected of him, uh, especially if he is successful. If, if you have many siblings and if you are the eldest and you didn't succeed in your life, it's not a big deal. Your little brothers and sisters are supposed to come and back you up. But if you're the eldest and you succeed, all eyes are on you and you're not supposed to uh, have a personal life kind of. You have to think about everybody and then with the remaining of your own uh, making, you have to think about yourself. So you are the last person on your own list. In another story named uh, The Ten Shillings, we, we see how the colonialism colonialism was so so bad how uh, useless it was for a black man on the territory a native to go to school you see the lies of the colonial uh, colonizer because they were told that if they went the black people the natives they were told that if they went to school and got the degrees they will eventually get uh, works as clerks they will uh, work in the the offices just like the white men were doing but here we have the story of this this man who succeed in his studying and decide to go to 
the capital city to make it only to discover that there are many of them who have succeeded who get the degrees but still no matter how old you be no matter how great you are and how many degrees you have you still you will always be the boy to the white man and you don't need to have a brain when you're working with a, a white man because the white man is omniscient he thinks for you he knows ex you know he's he knows exactly what you should do he tells you what to do and is even his children will call you boy you know you can be 45 years old 55 years old you have a, a little boy who is uh, 10 years old who will call you boy right because he is white and uh, the 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 color of his skin allows him to be considered more important than you are there's another story that re I really, really loved, which was uh, the lift. The lift was very interesting. It, 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 I'm going to sum it up like two little boys uh, who lives in the street, so street kids, um, decide one day to change their routine because every day they do the same thing. They work in the street and do all their stuff. But that, in that particular day, they decide that they want to get into a lift just to get you know, to, to, to be lifted from the ground, go see what happens in the buildings and come down. When they, get it in, uh, when they make it in the building, they encounter a black man who start asking them a bunch of questions only to deny them access to the lift at the end. So both of them don't understand why they are denied, they denied the, entry, uh, the, the, the entrance to the, the, the lift. And when, they, when we see them arguing with this black man who stopped them from getting there, we also see the arrival of two other kids. But these ones are white with blonde hair, I think. And nobody asks them any question. They just go straight into the lift and go up. So these little boys, these black boys, look at themselves like, okay, why aren't we allowed when these two can get there? do whatever they want. Maybe they are even the one who are going to do all the mess that they, they assume that we will be making just because we are black and just because we are uh, dressed the way we are. So I'm not going to give you the rest of the story. You need to read it. But that was interesting to see how it, it has always been black. You know, we are the one stopping ourselves in a certain way. We always, the, the colonizer always used one of us to stop us or to, to belittle us, okay, thinking. And then when, when they do those things, they think that they are better than the rest because they are loved by the master or they are loved by the one who are ruling. But at the end of the day, you just realize that you are just as much a servant as I am. I love that one because of that. The, the, the story is really, really well told. There are many, 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 many good stories in there. I said there are 10 of them. And let's say that out of 10, I really appreciated um, um, seven of them. So the three one that I kind of just liked were okay. Okay. So this one is a book that I recommend to all of you if you're going to do those uh, read a turn and to participate in any kind of, um, if you need a quick read or you want to see the atmosphere in the now Zimbabwe, but back in the days it was Rhodesia. Yes, give this a try. Charles Mungoshi definitely have a way with words. And I know I, I love the, 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 the settings. From, when you jump from one story to another, you feel like you, you are reading different writers. I love the way he shifted voices. Um, you, you don't feel like it, the same whole story that is being told to you. It, it, it just... It is as if different writers were telling these stories, but different good writers. And uh, you really get involved in the stories and you see, you see all the details. And I, I was wondering how did he manage to put so many details in such a short um, um, you know, amount of pages or... Yeah, you just need to read it. Uh, I, now I understand why everybody was recommending me to read anything by uh, Charles Mungoshi, and I highly recommend you uh, this one. You know, I don't love, uh, I used not to love uh, uh, short stories, but now I think like I'm falling in love with uh, short story collections because maybe my mind is opening up or maybe I'm just picking up the right uh, storytellers. But yeah, this one is definitely a must read. Um, for those of you who are curious enough to know much more about Africa, so voila, Charles Mongoshi, 
coming up the dry season. Give this a try. That's all I had for you today. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.